Hi there. Um, today we're going to discuss the process for nurses from Kenya looking to immigrate to the United States, particularly the ones that they themselves are involved in. Because um, we keep getting questions about the immigration process, but the immigration process is, is split into two. The one that the nurses themselves have to do something about and the one that the employers in the United States have to do and the agents. So the focus of the nurses should be on what they themselves need to do in the process to make sure that they help in the process. Uh, instead of focusing on what other people need to do, we need to focus on what the nurses themselves need to do. And the first and important thing that a nurse has to do is to ensure that the education and license credentials are assessed. That's something that they have to do themselves to ensure that the education and licensing credentials are assessed. This first step is to verify your nursing education and licensure with an organization like uh, CGFNS is called a Commission on Graduates of Foreign Nursing Schools. This organization assesses and verifies your credentials and education against US standards. Only after passing the evaluation process can you proceed to the next step. It's important for us to know that before you do anything or say that you want to do to want to migrate to the United States, ensure that your education and license credentials are assessed. So open a free account at CGFNS and let the, your education and license uh, credentials be assessed. After that, you need to make sure that uh, you have your English competency. We understand that Kenya teaches in English. A lot of states in the US also understand that and they don't ask for English competence in the licensing, but the federal government still asked for competencies. So you have to take your TOEFL or ILET to make sure that you can show that you are good in English. In any case, it's a communication issue and your ability to understand, to listen and understand the English as spoken in IRS or TOEFL will help you communicate with your patients in the United States. So something to do. After you've had your education license and credentials assessed, you need to take the NCLEX examination, the National Council Lexenza examination. It's a nationwide examination for lessons in nurses in the United States. You must pass this exam to be considered for immigration or licensing in the United States. After you've done education lesson accreditation, you've done your English, you've done your NCLEX, and of course you have got license and it's a most says like in Delaware, they require that you have um, your background checked. So you need to get, if you are still overseas, you need to check, uh, get your fingerprints taken there and sent to, to, brought to Delaware so that they can be able to check your background. And you check your background and then you get your license. And now you go back to CGFNS who will give you a visa screen certificate. Now when you get a visa screen certificate, that's what now makes the visa screen certificate plus your English language proficiency assessment will be able to assist your employer to file for you. At that point, you will need a US employer to sponsor you, okay, to file a petition for you. So the idea that uh, you can do all this thing by yourself in Kenya and come over here as of this time is not true. Because obviously you're coming here as a nurse and obviously you're not coming here as a nurse to work for yourself. So you're coming to work for somebody and that somebody must be able to stand for you. So after you have reached the level where your employer is supposed to sponsor you, your employer will take over from there. Thank you very much for listening to me.